Okay, today we're going to be talking about lift misunderstanding or lift misconception. A lot of people in today's life or generation don't seem to have that much knowledge on about things they have around them. So I'm going to be explaining about this. First of all, is about lift free fall. Lift free fall is like extremely rare or almost impossible to happen. In 1854, Elisha Otis, the founder of Otis Brothers Corporation, later Otis Elevator Company, established a safety elevator, which basically when you pull this contraption here, when these cables pull up, it retracts these two locks, which locks to these alligator teeth, which are on the sides, which basically locks the lift in place. For example, when this cable has been cut or you release the ropes, basically, this will later then push back into the wall into the alligator teeth. But now we have the governor. Now, the governor is a wheel. Basically, the main compartment is in the motor room. When there's a rope, uh, not rope, sorry, cables. Cables which goes down here, these these two blue ropes you can see right here. There's also a wheel at the bottom which has a load attached to it on the bottom as well. And this doesn't contain any things to do with supporting the load of the lift car. It's just attached to the car, but doesn't actually move. Not, not, I mean, not move, but doesn't carry any of the car's load. When the lift car overspeeds its limit, it will trip. How does the mechanism work? On the original design of the governor, well, I mean, not not that good. Of I'm drawing. Yeah, just, there's a spring here. To bars, I guess I can say like that. Bars. Bars in the middle. And this this middle piece connects to the wheel. Which has a rope around it. So when this wheel spins, 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 with overspeed, it creates a centrifugal force in the central, which pulls the locks right here out towards the side. And with these teeth attached to them, it will lock and secure it. And this will pull on the brakes, which are here. Pull up. Now, for example, if the load is a bit too much, and this governor itself holds the load and becomes brake, which is impossible in the first place, it will s still hold because when it locks, it will lock completely. And there's no returning back. It's like a mechan mechanism. You can go only one way, but not return. You have to be... Use a special key or something. Not sure. Anyways, that's all about the the governor. Now we're gonna talk about ropes. Many people say that the cables or ropes, or normally cables, the cables they can be cut off or just break when even you have a lot of, too much load. This load right here is actually decreased load. The load you see in the lifts are actually lower than the actual amount you can actually fit into the lift. For example, right here, 800 kilos, 10 persons. Well, some people actually say that, oh, the lift is small, you can't fit 10 people. No, it doesn't. 10 people, which means that it's it's been calculated by the weight, not the space. Well, well, space is calculated in like destination dispatch lifts when they uh, calculate the amount of space inside. But in normal cases, or about the basically about the weight, they just think about the load and the safety. And this has been decreased because in the actual thing, you can fit actually more than 800 kilos. And also, only one cable can be can support the whole system, both the counterweight and the car. So which means these four other are actually just for safety purposes, even though only one can support the whole system. And also the car has been decreased its size to the smallest possible, so it doesn't have that much load effect. They have planned to make them. 
this way so that there's a lot of safety. Pressing every button makes the lift broken. Another misconception. So you remember this uh, from the film Elf? You know this elf, he went to the Empire State Building, pressed every, well not every, but slides his hand and press every button. He, he, yep. So somebody made made a meme. It sounds like Christmas. Oh, okay, will make sense. But it, some people say that when you press a lot, it makes the lift broken. No, it doesn't. Lifts are made to stop at basically every floor. It's programmed to stop. It's been calculated to stop at every floor. When you say that you can't make the lift stop at every floor, it's like defeating its. It's like defeating its own thing to do. Because the thing the lift has to do is to stop at every floor, and it's been calculated like that. When you say that the lift cannot stop at every floor, it's like defeating its own purposes. Why? No. It's, own, it's the purpose to stop at every floor. The third thing is the frequency of using the lift. Similar to pressing the buttons, when you use the lift too much, some people say that it will break down. Well, well this is actually quite true, but... When you use a, using too much lifts doesn't mean that the lifts will break down. Well, under under a certain amount, though, in a, like, for example, ten thousand trips, then the lift will start doing some weird stuff. But normally, when it reaches ten thousand trips, they will report them to the lift manufacturer and comes to check it for some maintenance. So normally, when I film lifts, I go in. Go up and down if possible for like you know, two times, three times. If the, if I have time. If you if you say that I use the lift too frequent, then how about the lifts in the shopping centers? Why don't they break down? When you say I use a lift which is like hardly been used, for example, like a tucked away service lift, and the lift has been hardly used for many years, and you say it breaks down. No, no. In some circumstances, yes, but mostly no. No, because the lift has been the lift has been programmed to use as frequent as you need, which means that you can use it as much as possible. You can use it at, at how many times you want, any times a day. If you, it's just basically that if you act correct in a lift, it won't break. <laughs> There's absolutely no way you're going to break a lift if you don't do something wrong. If you don't do something wrong, it won't break. Just don't think of frequency too much. <sighs> okay, so that pretty much sums up of what I'm going to do with this video.